Good day guys, Pin Anims here and I'm going to be doing another tutorial. This tutorial is how to put your animations on YouTube in HD settings using Camtasia Studio 7 and capture every frame in the video. Most people don't want to use Camtasia and want to download some Swift converter or something else because they say Camtasia won't capture every frame and it's not made to record animations. Well, thanks to my friend Korn, make sure to subscribe to his video. Here it is on the top screen. I'm going to pause the video and here it is. Okay, so now that you see where to click his video in order to, um, now that you can click his video, uh, that's his channel. Sorry, I'm kind of. I, I'm not really getting my words together very straight. It's my third time recording. Kind of tired of it. Kind of messed up a lot. Just subscribe to him. He is the one who started this, and I'm getting text messages all over. But that is where I learned this from. And subscribe him. He's an amazing animator, creative, and everything. Okay, but let's get this tutorial. So, uh, obviously, as I said, you'll need Camtasia Studio 7. Flash or whatever animation program you use, I'm pretty sure it works with all. And that's about it in the computer and the internet and other basic things. So, this animation I have is a demo that I had made, and it's just like a demo that I never finished for my old RHD Robert, who is now has been changed. He is still a shapeshifter, but he's a different color, and his name is Symbiote. You'll learn all about this later on when I finish my demo. Um, now, for right now, this is how you do everything. First, you go File, Export, Movie. You make a folder, new folder, Rendered, Animation. Is what I'm going to name the folder. That's not You don't have to name it that, that's just so I can remember. You put the audio file. Audio, Demo. In order to get to the audio file, when you go to Export as Movie, just go to the drop-down menu and look down until you get to, I believe it's the fifth one where it says wave audio dot wave click that save you go to your sound format go to the very last one either mono or stereo this will give you the best quality for it I choose stereo don't know why just do very last one feels better for me after I do that then I'll, I can delete the music off of this if I feel like it I can delete the sound and the music actually but I'm not gonna touch it what you do is after you have saved your audio you change your FPS of your animation. Change it to 6 FPS. Yes, I realize it's kind of slow, or you think it's not going to look good. But that's so Camtasia can capture every frame in your animation. So then, you press Control Enter, and you wait for your thing to load. You pause, rewind, so you ha start from frame 1. You get Camtasia, the recorder, and you match it up to the dimensions of your animation so you can capture every frame. Now that you can capture the full video and every frame of it, you press record. If you have a play button, you can press play whenever you start the recording. If you don't, then you just do uh, right-click play. Uh, I will also show you how to remove your mouse from the screen so you don't see it when you press play. But here are. You record it. You press record. Wait for the countdown to go. Make sure that you're not recording any audio with the animation. And you press play. And you let Camtasia record your animation. I will be back in a second after I finish recording all this because it's going to take about 40 seconds to record all this animation. Tedious time, but it'll turn out great. So, be right back. Okay, guys, I am back now and I've recorded this entire animation. It is now in Camtasia and I will save and edit and you will save it as whatever you want to. I'm going to save it as demo 2. So once that's saved, it will open up Camtasia for you. I still have this left over from whenever I did before, so let me delete that so I can show you guys again. What you do is you open Demo 4. It should already be open for you, but since I've done this tutorial already, it's already here, so I gotta do it again. Once you get this, this is your animation. You can delete that zoom keyframe if it's there. Yes, remove that. Okay, so all you have to do is go through make sure everything's up make sure you don't have any extra animation in it like right there that should not be there it's gonna mess things up so zoom into your height so as far as it goes so you can go to the very first frame where it shows up my first frame is right there so I split and I remove simple 
now that I have that going, this is where the easy stuff comes in. To make this HD quality, all you have to do is right click and go to clip speed. And now that you have it recorded, you depending on what FPS you do, this is how you do it. If you were running at 24 FPS, then you would do 400%. But I'm running at, I did mine at 30 FPS, so I will increase it to 500%. And you press OK. So now, if you look at it, my entire animation runs at full speed at 30 FPS again. Because I have set up this way. And now I also have my audio, which you just go to import media. Find that file where you save your audio at, get the audio, and you drag it in. Make sure that it matches up with the very last frame of your video. So move that back to the very last frame. And then you play through and make sure it links up pretty well. And there we go. See? It syncs up well. So, now that you know it's synced together, you have your thing at full FPS. Now you can go to produce and share. Now, I'm going to show you how to make it HD quality. Wait first, I forgot. I got to show y'all how to get rid of your mouse. To get rid of your mouse, you click this right here and go to cursor effects. And right here, just that thing over here says cursor visible just uncheck that and it'll be completely invisible so if you had to click play button this will make it to where you never see your mouse click it so that just like gets people's ways when they see their mouse move across click it and then move back that you can get rid of that that easy so now that you've done that you can go to produce and share and I'm gonna show you how to get to HD quality you go to add and edit you go to new and when you go to new you put a present name I made mine 1080p because that's the quality I want it but you, you can name it whatever you want to you make it a Windows movie video Windows media video whatever right here and you click that then you go next you leave this alone this is its best quality it's already letting you know it's doing its best then you go to custom size and you go to width and type in 1280 go to height and type in 720 this will make sure that you have a 720 HD video when it renders out completely press next you can make your own watermark and have it in your animations or just leave it how it is don't worry about that include watermark whatever and you press finish so once you finish you'll find your save setting up here 1080p so I go next I will name it demo render and I save depending on how fast your computer is it'll take a different amount of time on how fast it will render also depending on how big of a file it is so at, while it's saving it'll go la 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 I'm going up to 100% ah! and it'll open up it'll open up in explorer google chrome or firefox whatever you like to use then once you do that you should have completely HD settings that's how it is so that's all you have to do to get HD and now I will show you what it looks like in HD quality so here it is